Ty Johnson, first grade, Miss Gansko here for another day of Number Corner. I hope that you guys have your paper and pencil so you guys can follow along. And remember, whenever you see the pencil down on the screen, means there is something that I want you to write down or for you to follow along. So let's start off with our date today. Today is Thursday, April 16th. 2020. Let's see. think is going to be behind the 16 and the 17 today on our calendar. Think what shapes, maybe how many folds do you think they will be symmetrical? Go ahead and have that drum roll, drum roll. Let me see here. And we have what kind of shape is that? Hmm, there is no straight sides on that shape. It could roll all about. It is a flat shape, a two-dimensional shape. It is a circle. Now I want you to think, I want you to put your math genius brain on and could we fold it into equal parts? And is a circle symmetrical? While you're thinking, I am going to put our date in there for today. So boys and girls, I have my circle here and let's try top to bottom. If I fold it, will there will be exactly two equal parts? Let's see if we would have two congruent shapes. Remember congruent meaning same shape and same size. And there I folded my circle. So yes, we could fold it into exactly two parts. But let's see, friends, if we could do it one more time. If I do, now I turned it, and my top to bottom there. I would have another congruent side. So we can fold this into at least four. But do you think there would be more? Let's see how many more. Hmm. Kitty corner. <sighs> My friends. A circle is special. I did not finish all the lines. I could keep going. First grade, it doesn't fold it in at exactly two. It is at least four. It is more, but we will put that yellow X for a circle has at least four, but we know there's so, so many more. I got so tired. Oh my goodness. And knowing that we have a fold here, and just like a butterfly, if I open it up, I do have the same shape. It is mirrored on both sides. Two of those congruent shapes. Our shape is ding, ding, ding. That is right. It is symmetrical. So we're going to put over here in our column that asks if it is symmetrical on our observation chart that yes, a circle is symmetrical. So now we have the 17th of April, Fridays. What do we think is going to be behind it? Okay, and drum roll first grade. We have, it looks like the shape of a kite, but if we look how many sides there are, one, two, three, four, we have a four-sided shape. What do we call those shapes again? We just learned a new geo geometry vocabulary word for those four-sided shapes. Here's mine. Yes, you guys are such math geniuses. It would be a quadrilateral. It has four sides. So we will copy quadrilateral there for the 17th. And looking at our kite, you can kind of see my first fold here. 
I can fold it side to side. So that's exactly two equal parts there and there. We have those congruent parts. Now, if I go top to bottom, would that be equal parts? Top part, it does not look like this bottom part here. So we cannot fold it at least four. It would just be exactly two equal parts. So we are going to put a yellow X in exactly two, exactly two folds for equal parts. And yes, first grade, our quadrilateral here that looks like a kite is symmetrical with those folds. So we're going to copy in a yes there. Very nice. So now we are going to go over to our X's chart of how many days we have been in school. Remember, if we have the big square filled in here, we know that it says 100. You should have your paper and pencil out for this. We have, we're counting by tens now, 110, 120, 130, 140. Now counting by ones, 41, 42, 43, 44, and we're going to add one more X in for today. For 145 days. Your piece of paper, we're going on to our chart. Now looking at your number of 145, I want you to put that math genius brain on. What do we need to change in our number here or our picture? This four to a five. And Miss Gansko, you need to draw in another little cube for a five to make that five. So I'm going to draw those in. I'm going to and I am putting another cube to make the ones place a five there. Remember up at the top, if we have our group of 10 longs, 10 tens, it says 100. Then I have four tens here, 10, 20, 30, 40, and my five ones to make it 145 for 145 days of learning. Now off to our equations. We have a an expanded notation equation where they don't match anymore. So we need to change what number to make it equal 145. You guys are just so smart. Say, Ms. Yansko, you need to change the 4 to a 5 in the 1 spot. So we're going to erase to put a 5 equals 145. 100 plus 40 plus 5 equals 145. Hey, looking at our subtraction, we had 150 take away 6 equals 144. Our x chart, what is our difference between 145 and all the way top to 150? I'll give you some thinking time. There is a difference of 5, so let's go ahead and count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have that difference of 5, so we need to subtract 5 to get to 145. So we're going to erase, take away 5 is what we counted for the difference, equals or the same as 145. Now, my friends, I want you to write down your own equations on your piece of paper. Ooh, I bet you have so many fun and creative ways to make 145. Make sure to share that to us or your parents at home. We need to go on to a, our Popsicle Sticks data collection. Over here, we have our spinner of how many we are going to collect. Yesterday, we got to 13, 13 Popsicle Sticks. So I'm going to erase and have a group of 10 with our tally marks. Five, two groups of five, five, ten, and then count by ones, 11, 
12, 13. We are needing two time. Let me hear that drum roll. And ooh, we're gonna add four to our, our popsicle sticks. And let's add in our four. One, two, three, four. Now we need to add with our tally marks. Make sure that you're putting down your tally marks. We're going to put four tally marks down. One, oh, there's four. So we needed, our next one's gonna close the door. Two, three, four. So looking, I want you to count how many popsicle sticks do we have now? We have 17 popsicle sticks. Let's go ahead and count our five, 10, 15, 16, 17. 17 popsicle sticks. For today, we're gonna write our equation. Remember, we had started with 13 popsicle sticks and we added four more and that equaled 17 popsicle sticks. Now, let's spin one more time for Friday, even though we're not going to be together on Friday. Drum roll, please. We have four. We're gonna add four more popsicle sticks. Okay. One, Two, three, four. Ooh, we have a lot of popsicle sticks here. Let's continue on with our tally marks. One, two, oh, there's four, so we need to close the door. Three, four. Now looking at our tally marks, we can see that we have a group of five and another group of five. Those together for our group of 10. So we have another group of 10. So knowing that, what do we need to do to our popsicle sticks? That's right. We need to change another group. We need to trade 10 for a group of 10. So let's go ahead and count. Okay, we're going to take away from count with me. One, two, Don't forget, we replace it with a bundle of 10. I'm going to move him over here. Okay, so now we can count by 10 and one more. So we have 10, 20, and 21. So we've collected 21 popsicle sticks. So on your piece of paper, make sure that you're writing our new equation of 17 plus four more equals 21 for 21 for this week. So up here, week two, we did collect 21 popsicle sticks. Looking at week one and week two, which week did we collect the most? If I was comparing them with the greater than or less than or equal to symbol, alligator does not want to eat the 13. He always wants more food. 21 is larger than 13. So I would put 13 is less than 21. My alligator would eat the 21 for comparing. Make sure that you've written this down on your page to turn into your paper, into your teacher. I hope you guys had great fun today and next week we will start all over on our popsicle sticks data code. I hope you guys had a great time and I will see you guys on Monday for our number corner. You guys have a great weekend. Bye, first grade.